a cigarette. Oh. Let's go out and take pictures. And we can, uh, you know, a little commentary, I guess. Yeah, here we go again. Morning after I sent the email to the deputy about uh, uh, this rancher, this person, not even a rancher, I wouldn't call him a rancher, but uh, cattle being back out here, look at all these young calves, fence is in horrible condition, and uh, so we got, look at all this, must be, you know, 40 or more head out here, and turn a little bit more, you can see all them, count them if you want. But, uh, yeah, that's the kind of law we have out here in small town USA, Elgin, Texas. You can do damn near anything you want as long as you either contribute to a campaign, like for maybe the sheriff or DA or something like that, or maybe, you know, whatever commissioner, or you lived here all your life. Uh, those people that served in the military and get paid the ultimate price, or very close to it, like those in my circle, or even I, have no rights whatsoever. And these people can rail on you and destroy your property at will, and there's nothing you can do about it. You can call the, you can call the police department, or you can call the sheriff if you want, because that's, that's part of the chain of command. But, uh, you know, being in the military, well, that's, that's kind of what a typical, typical person will do. That's what I've done. I've gone all the way up to the Attorney General's office here in Texas, and... Now, unless you, you know, donate, I don't know, so many million dollars to their campaign, they're not going to help you. Not interested. They just file it and uh, send you on your way. Or in my case, uh, when I spoke to the woman and told her what was going on, she just laughed at me and uh, sent me on a on a snipe hunt. So, uh, hey, welcome to Texas. Welcome to America. You want to get anything done, or if you want to. Um, maybe um, get anywhere out here, become a cop, get a badge, and you can do any damn thing you want, and nobody's going to stop you, you can be as corrupt as you want, um, that's the way it is, now the deputy that's uh, in charge of the ashtray, or the livestock deputy out here, they've been doing it for, oh, I guess his entire career, started in Travis County and came out here when Travis County got too populated, became a concrete jungle, and just continued. I often wonder how much beef these cattlemen are filling his freezers with, or the freezers of other deputies or law enforcement in the area, just so they can uh, pretty much do whatever they want. And the crazy part about it is, when the good old boys came out to my place to, as they said, teach teach me a lesson on how things are done around here. Um, DA told me if I were to defend against their attacks, he would prosecute me. How crazy is that? So I'll jump in Jim Crow strikes again. Jim Crow laws. That was a Jim Crow law back in the 50s and 60s. The black people were not allowed to defend from physical attacks on them by white people. That's Jim Crow. It's one of them. There's a bunch of them. And they varied from state to state. But um, basically that's that's basically what they were. Um, now I've made it known I got no problem with a clan. It's a group just like any other group. They have the right to do whatever they want within the confines of the law. It's when they step outside the law that I have a problem. And that's why this rancher and I have a problem, because he stepped outside the law, along with multitudes, thousands of others in Central Texas. And because of the positions, or titles of some of them, I guess, that have allegedly heinously broken the law, penal code, and uh, federal statute, um, 
law enforcement says, hey, you know, we've got we've got bigger fish to fry you know, today or, or something like that. So um, you're going to have to wait. And, of course, you get another visit. So what I've done is I, I'm not going to use them anymore. I'll just start releasing the videos to the world. And y'all can... Uh, well, y'all can watch them. Do what you want. I guess we'll let the cards fall where they may. But uh, that's what you deal with out here in, in Texas. And pick whatever area you want. It's all the same. And it's getting to be like this all over the country. And it's sad. It's people that have never worn a uniform, never had to, never signed that blank, that infamous blank check. But they're so entitled to be incredibly corrupt or do whatever they want or feel like they're entitled to do to people who have. That's the very sad part of this country. Like it or leave it is what they say. Well, I'm beginning to think a couple of folks that I've talked with that have already moved down to South America may have the right idea. They had your own little community. Maybe, maybe not like Jim Jones, but, <laughs> but uh, you know. Hell, even the Library of Congress doesn't know how many laws are on the books at a given time. That's pretty sad. They just crank, keep cranking out more laws. More laws. Laws to cover laws to cover laws. Thinking that if they create a law, it's going to eliminate a problem. That's not how it works creates more problems. So it is what it is. So the only thing you have left is vigilantism uh, or what they call Plains Justice. Because law enforcement is so damn corrupt all over the place or politicians or what have you that um, people are so frustrated or they become so frustrated because, uh, you know, the abuse, the alleged abuse, what have you, that um, they have no other option to protect either themselves or their property or, or the like. That's pretty sad. Pretty sad that uh, the way I grew up with around cattle and livestock and other cattle owners, cattlemen, farmers and whatnot, that life is gone. There's no more integrity, honor, or respect. It's I got mine. It's all I got mine. And if you don't like it, well, that's too bad. We'll just run my cattle through your property again and destroy what everything that you've worked for, or everything that you've improved on, or everything that you enjoy. And every time you improve it, we'll run the cattle through there again. Well, it is what it is. Welcome, welcome to the world. So, um, I guess until we can, if I hit the lottery, maybe I can buy, you know, three, four, five, ten badges of my own. And then, of course, it'll just be a vicious cycle, to and fro, all over again. Then I'll be the bad guy, right? Isn't that how it works? That seems to be the only thing people understand anymore. Who has the power, or who knows who has the power, or who can buy the power, or something like that. That's pretty sad. I didn't think I'd ever fall into this quagmire. I didn't think I'd ever let my standards get lowered to even think about it. But it's very tempting. It's very, very tempting. Oh, look, there's two cows out on that man's property, too. I wonder, who's, I wonder who they belong to. I doubt they belong to him since they live in Austin. They only come out here once in a while. It would be kind of inhumane to have cattle out there all the time when you can't take care of them or you aren't out there to take care of them. That's pretty sad. Well, it's what it is. People out here, I wouldn't wish this hell on anybody. I mean, unless they had skills like I do. 
or been trained to have the mentality to deal with it. Maybe Sears School or something like that. Maybe Ops. Or even a Sapper. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody deals with things their own way. It's supposed to be within the confines of the law. But when the law is working against you, or not willing to do the right thing, or only enforces the laws against people who aren't their friends, or campaign contributors, well, you've got very few options, don't you? Very few options. That's pretty sad. But I guess, uh, oh, evil wasn't too far off the mark, was he? When he's talking about the uh, the old end game, this Kaepernick thing. Well, I suppose it is what it is. After what I've seen, I'd love to see new leadership. I'd love to see black community rise up and take over. I really would. Anything's got to be better than this this garbage. Maybe finally people will. Who knows? For sure it's not in my best interest to talk about it anymore. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.